What is up you guys? Today is Saturday, October 27th, 2018. There's a lot of news that I want to cover in today's video. As well, I want to talk about a few comments really quick. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and we can just jump right into this. The topic of this video, you know, is, is Bitcoin getting spring loaded? Is Bitcoin really in a place where we could finally see a breakout? I think the story of the past week, past week or two, really the past few months has been the decreasing volatility. However, in particular, the past two weeks have been historically low in terms of the volatility. We can zoom in, you can see just how tight it's been trading in this area here. And this is about two weeks right here. It's essentially not even moved almost. So I wanna spend some time looking at that and some factors that might lead to something finally shifting in the market. So if we're gonna jump into these comments first, the first one I wanna cover was by Diver Dan. He said, uh, and this was res a response to my video a day ago, just talking about people getting interested in crypto and why explaining passionately and talking about it might not get family and friends as excited. He said, I told a lot of people, but zero of them got involved. My accountants actually said the word tulips. Uh, what he's referring to there is tulip fever, which is kind of a, at this point, a very favored comparison that anti-crypto investors will say about uh, a boom and bust cycle in crypto and how it's just a, a fad pretty much. But then he says, I'm now the only person I know that has any crypto or that doesn't think it's a get rich quick internet scam. And I haven't even told them how many thousands it's cost me this year. Um, what I responded to him with in the comment is that the same people calling it an internet scam were the same ones talking about it uh, very excitedly a year ago. And they'll get back into it when the prices have 10 X, maybe 20, 30, 40 X um, from here. I have no doubt that they'll be back. People that probably don't believe in the long term, uh, I guess, longevity of cryptocurrency probably are not still watching these videos in almost November of 2018. You know, I feel like they probably left the market maybe all the way back in April, May. Uh, so I, pro I feel like they're probably long gone. And if you're, if you're still watching these videos, I feel like you still, at the very least, have some belief in cryptocurrency long term. Uh, but for the most part, many of you 100% have a lot of belief and are as confident as myself and many other people that we're just in a period of cooling off before we reach those new all-time highs. So one of the reasons why I think we will reach those all-time highs, and that leads me into this article here. So this is more detailed on backed, and I really like this article. It was published on Extra Bytes. It's a blog here uh, published by Mike B right here. It's titled, Why Backed is a Game Changer. So this was published today, and I want to kind of highlight some key points to this. So again, I think before we get into it, though, I think backed is probably, and I think this article basically says the same thing, probably the biggest thing to happen to crypto this year. Last year, it was maybe the futures. Then there was a lot of talk around the middle of 2018 about a Bitcoin ETF. But then as soon as backed kind of came out of nowhere, I think that took a lot of people by surprise and gave a lot of people hope, whereas that same hope was lying in ETFs. And now it's more in backed as well as other things um, like Fidelity, which I mentioned multiple times over the past few weeks. But the much hyped back to the brainchild of the parent company of the New York Stock Exchange called the Intercontinental Exchange ICE will launch its Bitcoin futures platform in December, according to a document released this week. And just for speculation and fun, I did mention uh, a few videos ago about an unnamed source saying that it could potentially come out before then. Again, I don't think there's any credibility to that, but I just want to I guess throw that out, that out there for speculation and for comments if people are interested in or have a response to that. But it says here, Backed is a new cryptocurrency platform proposed by Jeff Sprecher, the founder, chairman, and CEO of ICE. Backed is also backed by Microsoft, Starbucks, and Boston Consultant Group. So those are some entities not to take lightly. Um, obviously, they're influential and legitimate in the market. The document explains that ICE will list backed Bitcoin, USD, daily futures contracts for trading on December 12th and they'll be physically settled and cleared by ICE. So what it hopes to do essentially is to create an integrated platform that enables consumers and institutions to buy, sell, store, and spend digital assets on a seamless global network. Potentially maybe the biggest of all of those being spend. I think that actually might be an aspect that we might be overlooking, which could be very important because the more transactions and the more people spend on the network, I think that's really better for cryptocurrency as a whole. So it definitely lends itself to the idea that, oh, people aren't using it. Well, if people are spending it, then they really are using it. Uh, it says here, it also will be creating a program that allows a larger, larger businesses to conduct business with digital currencies more efficiently. The company's first contracts will be physically delivered Bitcoin futures contracts versus fiat currencies against US dollars, pounds, sterling, and euro. What I really like here, the last paragraph, Backed will not support margin trading for its Bitcoin contract, nor will it allow leveraging and cash settlements. 
uh, as to focus better support on market integrity. Instead, the company believes simply following market price formations is the key, advancing the promise of digital currencies. So, like I said many times over the past few weeks, I really do think Bact is approaching this from a very positive angle, uh, in a way not to distort Bitcoin or maybe manipulate Bitcoin. Again, I could be biting my tongue in, in a few months, you know, who really knows how it's going to play out, but at least that's how it seems at the moment. And so here under the headline, biggest news of the year, Brian Kelly called the cryptocurrency deal the biggest news of the year for Bitcoin. And I actually, yeah, I, I agree with that 100%. Given that it paves the way for a Bitcoin exchange traded fund or baskets of related assets that trade on stock markets. What's more, Starbucks' decision to accept crypto makes that much more mainstream. Plus, it means users can spend their digital fortunes almost anywhere, he said. Uh, if we just want to skip down a little bit. So, Bact promotes mass adoption. If the Bact blueprint works as planned, a panoply of new Bitcoin funds will tap the pent-up demand for the cryptocurrency. It will also make these funds a safe and comfortable choice for everyday investors, particularly younger investors starting their first 401ks. Wall Street might then tap Bitcoin's popularity as an alternative to stocks and bonds, generating enormous trading volumes as a result. Again, guys, we could see a huge pop because of that. That I mean, really, that's really tapping into kind of the key aspect of why backed could be massive for this market. And I, again, I'm really excited and curious to see how it's going to uh, evolve as a marketplace. I think it could be huge. Uh, and that flood of institutional buying and selling in turn would smooth out Bitcoin's wild price swings and alleviate fears of, about its future value. So yeah, I think that's that's awesome. And well-written article, I really like this one. Tell me what you think. So two key players, Microsoft and Starbucks, two key players I don't think many of us thought in 2017 would ever be associated with cryptocurrency this early are associated with crypto. So this is really backed, is backed by like some definitely legitimate companies here. And it's just, I mean, this rocket taking off could honestly be 100% realistic. And it seems more realistic than any other viable option at this point in the cryptocurrency space. Now, what I was talking about earlier, just about this reduced volatility we've seen. There are two articles that I'm not really gonna spend a lot of time on, but this one was from yesterday, bottomed. Bitcoin is quieter than ever with lack of volatility. Is this a good sign? And then all quiet on the crypto front as Bitcoin and altcoins shun volatility. As many of you probably know, the stock market is not doing very well. However, cryptocurrencies maintained incredibly stable levels and seems to, at least so far, not be very affected by what's going on over there. Is Bitcoin bottoming? It talks a little about this, but again, importantly, it talks about catalysts that would lead to the next bull run catalyst to get us out of this low volatility sideways trading. And the major thing mentioned even in this article as well is backed that will create a regulated ecosystem where institutional money can enter the crypto market. They also talk here about tech giant IBM partnering with the cryptocurrency project Stellar, which happened a few months ago. Then we have PNC, a top 10 US bank with over 8 million customers joining Ripple Enterprises blockchain network. So really we just see so many institutions getting involved with crypto one way or the other doesn't matter which cryptocurrency it is, we're seeing it happen kind of all at the same time to a plethora of different cryptocurrencies, which should be promising. It should be something to get excited about. Then we have Fidelity Investments managing over $7 trillion, and they're interested in cryptocurrency as well, as we know. They're essentially setting up custody services for that, so that's really exciting. And then this, this article more was just about price, but I don't want to spend too much time on that, but really kind of echoes the same tones, right? Reduced volatility, and that the bear market is getting tired, and there should be a bullish upturn very soon. And so this article, really briefly, I just wanted to look at. This was published by Dan Held on Coindesk, Planning Bitcoin Part 2, Seasons. So seasonality a little bit is kind of a theme here. Um, it talks about central banking, Satoshi finishing, essentially, the technology for Bitcoin and then releasing it to the world. And it came at a great time. And I think that's a lot of what this article talks about is just uh, right after the 2008 financial crisis. Then it has a timeline here of some interesting things I want to cover really quick about the Federal Reserve holding emergency meetings. Really just chaos here and Bitcoin coming in, swooping in at a really good time. Very deliberate, right? It came out essentially at the perfect time. Now, again, we have not seen mainstream adoption of Bitcoin, but really these these things will take a long time. And it's been it's been almost 10 years now. Really, Bitcoin probably couldn't be doing any better than it is now. And, and that, again, le is leading this entire cryptocurrency market. I got a comment the other day just asking like, I think it was a general comment, but it was just kind of like, how come a lot of people don't really cover Litecoin anymore? My answer to that really is that, especially in this downturn that we've seen, it's super critical to focus on the market leaders or market leader <laughs> at this point, which is Bitcoin. So that's why all my attention's really shifted to Bitcoin. In terms of price as well, when I was covering Litecoin, mainly I was covering price of Litecoin and really it's kind of irrelevant to cover any prices of any cryptocurrencies outside of Bitcoin at this point because they really do follow Bitcoin very closely. 
outside of a 30% pump, you know, every once in a while in a random altcoin. Uh, ultimately, they seem to fall back kind of to a, a stable range, especially just because of the market cycle we're in with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's still the leader. Bitcoin's very important to focus on. And as well, if you're a fan of Litecoin, it doesn't make sense to not be a fan of Bitcoin. So it, it makes a lot of sense to follow Bitcoin because Bitcoin and Litecoin, if anything, those are the two closest. I mean, Litecoin is essentially the closest friend that Bitcoin has. So if you like Litecoin, you should definitely just be happy that, that Bitcoin is, is doing well. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to cover in today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.